season. And so what does that mean in your hospital, your nursing home, um, your community, your healthcare community? What does that mean? What that means is that four out of 10 of your workers are going to show up with some kind of flu-like symptoms. So we have found that people who are, you know, in the healthcare industry, our healthcare workers are totally short staffed. And so because of that, they feel like there's some obligation of them, they must come to work. They already know that um, coming in, there's not enough hands to care for the patients. And so therefore, there's some kind of obligation for them to show up and they show up ill. We also know that sometimes people um, come in not feeling well because they feel, well, I'm not feeling that bad. I can still work. I'm not feeling so ill that I cannot work. So they could go ahead and come in. Or it could be simply that they don't have any more sick days or they don't have any more PTO days or they want to use those days for an, uh, another time. But So there's a host of reasons of why people actually show up to work and they actually are ill. Well, that's going to be a challenge for you because as an employer um, of a healthcare facility uh, community, you know that most of the people that are coming into your 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 community are ill, especially communities where there's a lot of older people. And so their immune system is already broken down. And so we have to really make sure that during this time, we're protecting the very people that we're there to serve. And how do we do that? How do we uh, get our employees to make sure that they come to work when they're healthy, manage our um, staffing levels when we're already understaffed, making sure we protect our patients and not, you know, give, give them any um, infections or, you know, you know, just helping them in terms of, you know, getting ill. We don't want that to happen. And so that's what we're going to be talking about over these quick look series. So if you're interested in hearing how to manage your staff, what happens with the flu shot? What is it mandatory? What to do? Then stay tuned. We would love to join you. Click on the link at the bottom, join the community, and leave some comments during the conversation. Have an amazing day.